Hello, and welcome to this very short exercise where the only thing that I want to do is I just want to put a little, a few pieces together of everything that we have done so far in this uh, lecture series where we're learning how to code with C Sharp. And then this exercise is going to be about creating a console application that we can call from the command line and that draws some ASCII art. So the way this is going to look like is that I'm going to type here draw empty rectangle and then the console is going to ask me for some parameters. So the width of the rectangle, so that's going to be 60 characters, the height is going to be 20 characters and the width of the border is going to be two characters, for example. And then I'm going to get this like print out on the console of um, of that um, of that of that particular drawing of an ASCII rectangle, and I can obviously uh, play with a lot of val values. For example, let's make it wider, let's make it a little shorter, and let's make a, a thick border. And now it's going to be a different rectangle. But even we can also change a little bit of the code, and instead of asking for user input uh, in the command terminal, we can change this to accept a different kind of input which is going to be asking as part of the calling. So when I call draw empty rectangle, I can as part of the arguments of this call, I can type in here now, I want 50 units, 20 units and two pixels wide. And then the thing is going to print out directly. So now I want a wider one, a shorter one and a bit of a bigger rim, you know, and then I get the printout of the rectangle. All right. So these two ways of asking for user input or passing in the parameters as part of the as part of the arguments of the of the console call is what we're going to be seeing today. And literally, I'm not going to explain much of this because everything that is explained, everything that I need for this particular video, I have already explained in the previous video in this series where I was explaining how to do console applications and build them so that you can run them from the terminal. And I'm also going to be drawing from some functions to generate ASCII art that we did in exercise number four and some functions that I did for and how I wrapped that inside of a function. And I just did that in my previous video in uh, exercise number five. So you will, you will be seeing maybe um, cards popping up here or descriptions on the link that point to those videos. So it's going to be a very short one. Um, and so let's get started. All right, so super simple. This is actually going to be a very short video because we've written all the code that we need in previous examples. So I'm going to be doing a lot of copy pasting and referencing which videos this code is coming from. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. It's going to be a console application in the .NET framework. And I'm going to call this project with the same name of the command, the console app or command that I'm going to be creating. So I'm going to call this draw empty rectangle, for example, I'm going to drop this in my desktop so that I have easy access to that. I'm going to choose a lower uh, framework, not net framework level so that is as compatible as possible with um, other applications. And I'm going to start this empty. I'm going to start this empty program. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the function that I created in my previous video what I was doing, what I was doing a full set of uh, utility functions, I created a function that given any for, and I'm going to copy paste it here, I created a function that given a um, that was called draw empty rectangle and the fact that these two things have the same name is just coincidental, uh, they don't have to. Uh, but this function was just a function that took the width and the height of the rectangle in integers because it's it's characters is finite. Um, is finite quantities, we can't have 2.5 pixels or 2.5 characters of a rectangle, and also the width of that rectangle. And this code here was the one that generated uh, with ASCII art on the console, it printed out this control rectangle. If you want to learn about how this was done, you can go back to episode or exercise four on this playlist where I, we were doing ASCII art and I was explaining how to do this, right? The only thing we have done here is we have wrapped it in a function so that we can copy paste this between programs and access this functionality, right? And then if you remember from, um, from my from the ASCII art video, the same one, we also had, uh, we also had in that video, a few lines of code that gave me access to here in the main program, that gave me access to um, to um, to 
taken as inputs, taking the width and the height of a rectangle. Okay, so um, this would stop in the console and would let the user type their input. Um, and then we would generate the rectangle on the video. <laughs> I'm a little fussy for this video as well. We would generate the rectangle in, in line with code in the program. So now that we have a function, it's just as easy as saying, can you say draw empty rectangle? And can you use the, uh, oops, so actually, yes. So something that I forgot to do is I, want, I need to bring in first, I need to copy and I need to make sure that I convert the values that I'm reading from the console, which are coming as strings, and I need to convert them to integers. And also, I probably want to add something more. Type the width of the border, and that's going to be here. I'm going to call this border string. And now I'm going to add another line where I'm going to say border width is going to be equal to the conversion from border string to an integer. And now that I have this, what I can do is um, I can I can here now call the draw empty rectangle and pass in those parameters that I just passed. So that's going to be width, height, and the width of the border. And for this console, I really don't need to add this like read key thing that we've been doing to stop the console from shutting down because this is intended, this project is intended to be run from an actual console. So I will go back to the console, to the terminal, to the bash, which is kind of what I want to do. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to build this solution. And I have just generated an executable file that is this program and that I can run from a terminal. And if I actually and if I open where in my system that is, you can see that I have a folder called draw empty rectangle. And if I go all the way in there and into binary and debug, you can see that I have this file, draw empty rectangle.x, which is a, an executable file that I can run on Windows um, and that will execute this console application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a terminal by searching in my Windows system for a command prompt. So I just type command or command prompt. You can't, it's on my other screen, you can't see it. Um, but I just open this here, okay? And this, so what I can do is I can copy this whole route and type here CD and paste that route so that I land on where this program is. So I can now type there and you can see that uh, I have all this stuff here. And actually these two files, they're not really necessary. So you can delete them. And I just have now my draw empty rectangle. So I can now start typing draw. And if I'm a little lazy and I don't want to type the whole thing, I can just type the first few letters and press tab. And then the whole thing will show up. Let me clear the screen before. I'm just going to type draw and the tab. And you can see that the first thing that it adds, can you tell me the width? Okay, 50. Can you tell me the height? All right. 25. And can you tell me the width of the border? That's going to be three characters. And then as I do that, boom, it just draws that rectangle. And, ah, and I just got it. I just executed this from the console. I'm going to do the same, draw empty rectangle with more values, for example, like 120 and 15 and just one unit. Oh, and because this is much larger than the console. Okay, so let's not do, let's just only do 100, 15 and one unit. And you can see that now the rectangle adapts to that. Okay. So that was very easy, actually. Um, this is a continuation. This example is a continuation of the video that I did before when I explained how, um, how we can create console applications that can take input. So, so we can create console applications that we can run directly from the terminal. Okay. It's just that I have brought in now this function that we used to create ASCII art, and I have wrapped it inside the console application. We can choose to have applications that take input from the user like this. But remember that in my previous video, I also explained how we can choose to have console applications that have the arguments right after one after the other. So I could choose to do something where I may want to say draw empty rectangle 80, 30, and 3. These values corresponding to the width, the height, and the border.
If I do that now, this is not going to do anything, so it's still going to ask me for the values. So I can press Ctrl C to stop the program, and I can change my program to instead of in taking input from the user, what I can do is I can try to get that input directly from the arguments that are typed in on the terminal. So something that I can do is I'm going to copy and paste this, I'm going to remove this, and then I'm going to say the width is going to be the first argument that is passed uh, in the argument. So that's going to be arg0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to convert to an integer the first value that is given as an argument. Here, I'm going to try to convert to the height, the second value that is given as an argument. And here, the third value. All right. And then if I save this, and if I build this, my draw empty rectangle has updated and now behaves differently. So now if I do draw empty rectangle, oops, <laughs> what have I done? Oops, okay. So I'm going to say draw empty rectangle with a value of 80. And now the height of 30 and the border of two. Now you can see that the rectangle shows right away without having to take input from the user. The, the input has been passed as arguments, the input has been passed as arguments um, in the same in the same call. All right. Um, well, I hope this was not confusing enough. But um, now that we're here, I might just want to play a little bit with this. Can we create like a really tall one, like a twenty and like two hundred? Oh, <laughs> what have I done here? Okay, so twenty and two hundred and one pixel. Whoop. So like a really tall rectangle here. Yep. All right. So I think with this, um, uh, we're going to finish the video here. You are ready now to uh, create your own commands that you could run from your system um, and to do fancy things, fancy calculations, or to draw cool stuff on, on, your, on your console, on your terminal, OK? Thank you very much. Let's move on to the next section on this series of learning C Sharp for computational designers. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this stuff, just feel free to like, subscribe, etc., etc., and check out everything else that we have in the channel. Thanks a lot.